So, yes. tell us whether or not you think or you know that not killing Metatron is either going to come back to bite Cass in the ass or maybe be key to his race salvation because he took it in the first place. Um, when will we find out? Yeah, or what do you think about it? About I can speculate, but I have no idea what the answer to your okay. question is. Um, yeah, I think that I think probably Metatron is key to getting uh, Cass's grace back, and Cass knows that. We established that early on in the season, and we also established that Cass is unwilling to uh, cooperate or ask a favor, cooperate with Metatron or ask a favor of him. Okay. So. Uh, that's a non-starter for him. However, I would not be surprised if later on in the season uh, it turns out that Metatron does end up uh, rectifying the situation somehow. Because he certainly is, as far as we know, the one who knows how to do that or where Cass's grace is. Is it still in existence? Okay. I assume so. As Cass is kind of dying, how does that affect him? Like, is there certain things he can't do as well, or Everything. what challenges he's, does he He's have? very impaired, so he's just getting weaker and weaker, and it's it's not really a human, but it's his, his powers are very depleted, and he's like sick. Is he mentally okay, he's or is mentally, that also? He's mentally sound, but a little grumpy. <laughs> Well, uh, oh, I'm Jeremy, ready for Grumpy Hands. Yes. Jeremy achieves that uh, his, prior, his Castile's top priority would be to find Dean, and Jensen also said that Sam and Castile are not really able to communicate, or they're able to communicate, but they're not able to be together at the point in the search for Sam. What kind of tease out Castile's journey in these first few episodes? Well, Cass, Cass wants to help uh, get Dean back to being a human. Um, that's his most important mission, most pressing mission for him, um, even though he is in the process of dying himself. Um, and the fact that he's so weak and so depleted makes it difficult for him to actually be helpful in the project of repairing the world. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Full on tease, right? I'm actually getting some actual information. <laughs> <laughs> How was um, being directed by Jensen again? Uh, it was actually good this time around. Um, uh, but now that I say that, this is my first time. That is your first time. Being directed right. by Jensen. Um, he was good. He was good. He doesn't uh, over direct. He doesn't under direct. Uh, he was also, you know, shooting some stuff. Uh, a lot of the stuff I shot with him, he was actually in as well as an actor, which is good because it kept him distracted. Uh, so he couldn't really, you know, get in my business too much. Tell us, um, are we going to see any of the angels that we met last season with Cass, like Hannah, or are we going to meet any new ones? Yeah, we do. We see Hannah um, okay. right in the beginning of the season. Uh, I, think she, I think she's the only one. Maybe we're on. Okay. And new, sorry, no new people? Or no um, new angels? Not at the moment. Not in the okay. not in the beginning of the season. I mean, yes, there are a couple. Uh, that's a lie. Yes, we are going to see other angels. Okay. I lied to you, and then I I corrected myself. <laughs> so is Cass going to be concerned with what's happening in heaven too, or is he's pretty distracted? With he's more grounded on Earth right now. I'm go for it. So we've heard that um, Cass sort of reacts poorly to to demon being, thinking that you know he's a monster. Does he feel that there's still parts of demon in him? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know how, how far gone he is. Okay. 